you ever thought about what it would be like if Bob Dylan were on he <laughs> I can't even do this with a serious face. Okay, if Bob Dylan were on hee haw. Where, oh where are you tonight? Why'd you leave me here alone? I searched the world over and thought I found true love. You made another and pfft, you was gone. <laughs> oh, couldn't resist. Bob Dylan's a great songwriter. I think people who have done his songs have done them better than he has. It's just my personal opinion. I don't know where I think of these thoughts. I don't know where they come from. I'm telling you I'm shot. Oh, it doesn't that figure. It starts raining and I'm all done. All set? Okay. <laughs> oh, the rain couldn't held off like five more minutes, could it? <laughs> this is going to be fun. Oh yeah, I don't need these. I suppose I gotta do this. Go get the trailer. Uh, it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Bumped his head and he went to bed. Didn't wake up till morning. I sang that yesterday. Well, I don't know how much it's gonna show through, but uh, I got a little wet. <laughs> oh. The joys of trucking. So I could hook up really quick. And uh, the bar for the tandems is old. It's one of those real old long bars that hang out by the wheel. I'll get a picture of it before I drop the trailer. Didn't want to budge. <laughs> oh boy. I am completely soaking drenched right now. Oh, I gotta change and get down the road. Maybe I'll just stay wet. I don't know. Ooh. Good times. Good times indeed. Oh boy, well I am done for the day, and I'm still damp, I never changed, um, the inside of the cab was already soaked, I was already soaked, and I really didn't feel like changing, I just wanted to get out of there, I took the sweatshirt off, that's on the little cover behind me, I'm going to take all this home and dry it and wash it out and all that, but uh, today wasn't a bad day, it wasn't a great day either, but it wasn't bad, I did a drop and hook up in Wilton, New York, my dispatcher gave me two trails to check out up there that were supposed to be empty, but he wasn't sure if they were or not. First one I checked out had a big puddle in the middle of the floor, has a leak in the ceiling. So I called down there, let him know that, that one was there, it was empty, had a leak in the ceiling. He told me to grab the other one if it was empty. The other one was empty, and it's an older trail, but all was good with it. Hooked up, did my pre trip, yada yada yada, boogie on down the road, Mayfield, New York. I was supposed to do a drop and hook there. Get there, and of course they're on lunch, so I wait for them to finish their lunch break before I get checked in. Get checked in, and the first number that I had didn't work. So I had to call down the dispatch, get another number. That number didn't work, so the lady behind the desk there, she gave me three numbers that she had for loads that were ready to go. Two were just a drop and hook, they were preloaded, and one was a live load. So I called down the dispatch for these numbers, and of course the one that they have processed is the live load. So once again, same place I was Friday, a drop and hook got turned into a live load. So I take the trailer out to where I'm supposed to drop it because you have to drop it so they, their yard dog can back it in there. Walk around the back and the mud flap's falling off. So I call down the dispatch and tell them that the mud flap's falling off the trailer. My dispatcher says, well, you know, or asked me if there was another empty trailer there that I could use instead or get loaded instead. So I went and talked to the yard dog, said, hey, you know, this trailer here is missing a mud flap. They're going to have somebody come out and fix it. Is there any way I can grab a different empty and get that one loaded instead of that one? He's like, sure, if they don't mind the office, cause, you know, paperwork-wise. So I went and talked to the lady of the office. She had no problem with that either. You know, they're pretty cool about that. So I ended up getting another trailer instead of the one I went in there with. I ended up sitting there for, oh, I don't know, another two hours because there were a couple of trailers in front of me. And then, uh, and as you can see <laughs> from the video, I got totally soaked once the trailer was done. I thought I could hook up quickly, but uh, the tandems on that trailer just didn't, that bar just didn't want to slide. I was going to get a picture of it, but uh, I didn't get a chance to. I'm here at the yard and it's raining and I'm just not going to mess with it. But it's one of those old trails with the bar, the metal bar that goes out in front of the tire literally. Anybody who's driven a uh, truck has seen these before. They're not fun. But I finally got the tandems to slide. 
got my paperwork, sealed it, all that. Got back out here to Syracuse, and I'm calling it a day. Gonna go home, and uh, my son has a baseball game tonight. They made it to the playoffs or whatever. I think it's gonna get rained out, but they're still playing. So I got a boogie on up over there. I'm still gonna be damp. I don't have time to go home and get dried out. So but that's pretty much today in a nutshell. Um, I did get some pretty decent GoPro footage, I hope. I ran the GoPro today. Uh, I got some footage from the other side of Amsterdam and through Boston Spa and uh, Route 5 and Route 67 and that general area. So I'll probably get that stuff up later this week. I'll be surprised if I get this video up tonight. Probably tomorrow morning. I'm tired and I got a lot of stuff to do. So I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day.